upgrade at safety for the Dallas Cowboys? Check. Reasonable price, let's check the commas on that check. The team chose to waive off all pro safety Earl Thomas and his $15 million per season salary demand, 14 months after the former Longhorn claimed it was the Cowboys he wanted to play for. In actuality, it was always about leveraging for a bigger deal, and things came to a screeching halt when the All-Pro inked a massive four-year, $55 million deal with the Baltimore Ravens that includes $32 million in guaranteed money. They went on to host a meeting with veteran safety Clayton Gathers who later resigned to the Indianapolis Colts, and then visited with oft-injured Eric Berry, but didn't enter into deal with him either. Their next move was to host a sit-down with George Aloka, which went very well. The veteran strong safety has agreed to sign a one-year deal with the Cowboys, the team announced, and is in immediate position to supersede Jeff Heath beside Xavier Woods. Even more impressive is what the Cowboys convinced Aloka to sign for, considering his resume in the NFL. Iloka's one-year deal is a minimum salary benefit contract, which maxes his cap hit at just $735,000, according to Todd Archer of ESPN. His base salary of $930,000 includes $210,000 in guaranteed money and a $90,000 signing bonus. For the Cowboys, that is an absolute steal. It was all set up as ready-made fix for the Cowboys and gets even more so when considering Aloka's agent, Ron Slavin, is familiar with Dallas being based out of South Lake TX and currently representing cornerback Orlando Skandrick, who spent nine years with the team. As an additional aside, R2, Aloka is a former Boise State player, the school the Cowboys have recently fond over the past few years, and a native of Texas, born in Houston before graduating from Kempner High School in Sugarland, TX. He's also 6 feet 4 inches, 226 pounds, and that undoubtedly has passing game coordinator Chris Richard drooling, seeing as he loves long defensive backs. The Bengals' decision to release Loka was a financial one, with the veteran set to hit Cincinnati's salary cap for $6.2 million in 2018 and $6.6 .6 million over the final two years of his contract. The Cowboys are currently sitting at around $20 million in available cap, a few recent small signings notwithstanding, and still need to get an extension done on defensive end Demarcus Lawrence, which shouldn't impact a mid-level signing like Aloka. That is, of course, assuming the deal gets done. Is Aloka a legend like Thomas? No, he doesn't have to be, though. All he needs to be is a potent, young impact player at a position of need that combines him with the uber-talented Woods, instantly making for a very dynamic rotation tandem going forward. Aloka left the Bengals with 230 career tackles, 32 pass deflections and 9 interceptions before his one-year stay with the Minnesota Vikings. He's also missed just four games in the last six seasons, giving the Cowboys durability at a position wherein it's hard to find, especially at that price. As far as value-laden checks go, Aloka's checks check out.